students, check this video out. Miss Adams, take a letter. If you're looking for a sweetheart because you're lonely and you want someone to love and adore, write a letter to our company and we'll send by mail just the girl you're looking for. Where the mail order made you order by parcel post, we come to you. Keep the one that you like best and then return the rest. For any one of us will bring a thrill from you. We're all guaranteed romantic. Just try one out, me stars above. And the bride that you get from a mail order house will come to you with kisses and love. What, you like her over me? Fine. I'll just get shipped back to Russia and figure out some other way to get to America. Hmm, idiots. As you can see, I tried that mail order bright thing out. And even though it worked great for the other girls, it didn't go so well for me. I ended up having to use my degrees in etymology to get to America. Which brings me to today's lesson. And that lesson is mail order bride. Not mail order as the movie was titled, mail as in postal mail. Were brides ever ordered and sent through the mail? Hot forwards investigate mail order brides. A mail order bride is a bride that is met from another country, originally through the mail. The concept is not new and has in fact been around since at least the early settlers of the North American continent. Some men that arrived in America found that there was a shortage of women. So they rode back home to Europe looking for potential wives to ship over. Since photographs were hard to come by back then, they pretty much had to trust that the description of the woman was close to what the woman looked like. During World War II, American military men were not meeting any women while at war. So they would oftentimes write home to women they had never met in person and propose to them. So these types of arranged marriages have been around for quite some time and were considered quite a normal way of finding a wife. I mean, if you're not meeting the girl of your dreams where you're currently stationed, what's wrong with looking elsewhere for that soulmate, right? Plus, what's the difference between meeting someone in a bar or over letters? You probably get to know the person better via letters than you do being drunk at bar, I think. Oh my god! Anyway, over the years, the process of finding a bride from another country changed with technology, and eventually the mail order bride catalog was created, which is where we got the term mail order bride. You could literally look through the catalog and pick out a potential bride. These catalogs originally were full of Asian women from the Philippines and Thailand. Then a couple things happened that changed the whole mail order bride process. The first was in 1989, when the Iron Curtain fell. Suddenly millions of beautiful Russian women were able to look outside of their country for possible mates. Why would they do this, you ask? Are they desperate to marry an American man so they can come to America? Actually, no. The reason why Russian women look outside Russia for potential husbands is because there is a shortage of Russian men available to Russian women. There are roughly 8 men for every 10 women in Russia. So this creates quite a demand for men that can only be satisfied by going outside of the country. Since Russian women are some of the smartest and most beautiful women in the world, this made the whole concept of male order brides even more appealing to American men. The second thing that happened was the advent of the internet. Rather than having to wait for a catalog of pictures of women to come in the mail, you could go to a website like AnastasiaDate.com, see videos of beautiful Russian women, and even video chat with them online. AnastasiaDate.com is where I happen to have my profile. Shh, 
After all, it's a great opportunity. My ID number is the 1603000. 1603000. Well, that's what they gave me. So moving on, companies like AnastasiaDay.com changed the whole process and truly allowed people to get to know these potential mates far better than post and mail ever could. Since the women are not actually sent through the mail like in the movie in the beginning of this video and no catalog is actually sent through the mail anymore, perhaps the term mail order bride no longer really makes sense. For your homework, check out AnastasiaDay.com. And let me know in the comments below if you would entertain meeting Russian women that way. The women on the site are really hot, so check them out. And for extra credit, since male order bride doesn't really make sense anymore as a term, what would be another good name? Bye-bye, my dear students. Be good. До свидания, мои дорогие студенты. Ведите себя прилично.